let's continue with conduction. Here we have an activity on conducting heat. The box on the left has a temperature of 100 degrees. The box on the right starts off at 20 degrees and it's heated by the box on the left. The red and blue colors allow you to see the temperature. Both boxes are within a vacuum. Here we have three thermometers. And as you can see, the temperature is changing. If we look at the molecules, we can see that the molecules on the right are moving less than the particles of the box with a high temperature. So the particles on the right are moving faster. This is happening at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. If we put a timer to record how much time it took for the heat to be transferred, the time will be 9 seconds. Now the two boxes are in the air. The air is colored blue. Its temperature starts at 20 degrees. If we want to see on the timer how much time it took for the temperature to change, the time will be 11 seconds. So, the first time it took 9 seconds, and now it took 11 seconds. If we continue with heat conduction, the temperature keeps on increasing, but we will notice that the right side will never reach the same final temperature as it did when both boxes were in vacuum.